Have you ever wondered what it's like to journey into a world of magic, adventure, and timeless tales? The 1940 movie The Thief of Baghdad invites you to do just that. Directed by Michael Powell, Ludwig Berger, and Tim Wellen, this cinematic gem takes us on a thrilling adventure as we follow the exploits of a charming thief, Abu, in the mystical city of Baghdad. It's a classic that has left audiences captivated for generations. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some random facts about this show. Did you know that The Thief of Baghdad was originally intended to be made in 1924 by Douglas Fairbanks? But due to budget constraints, it was delayed until 1940. The film is renowned for its pioneering use of special effects and stunning art direction, setting the standard for fantasy films that followed. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, buckle up for a magical journey through The Thief of Baghdad and share your thoughts with us. Your voice is essential to keeping the legacy of this classic alive. The Thief of Baghdad is a 1940 fantasy film that draws inspiration from Arabian Nights tales. Directed by Alexander Korda, the movie tells the story of a charming thief named Abu who embarks on a grand adventure in the mythical city of Baghdad. Along the way, he encounters iconic characters such as the evil sorcerer Jafar and the beautiful princess. The film's unique style is characterized by its lavish sets, groundbreaking special effects, and a vivid, dreamlike atmosphere. The Thief of Baghdad was a cinematic achievement of its time, boasting mesmerizing visual effects like a flying carpet and a giant genie brought to life by legendary designer and animator William Cameron Menzies. Its impact on popular culture remains significant, influencing future fantasy films and becoming a benchmark for the genre. The film's legacy endures in the hearts of those who appreciate timeless storytelling and imaginative filmmaking, making it a classic of cinematic history. The 1940 movie The Thief of Baghdad had an interesting backstory. Douglas Fairbanks, the star of the 1924 version with the same title, actually owned the rights to the film's name. In 1938, film producer Alexander Korda negotiated with Fairbanks to secure the rights to the title over dinner at the Savoy Hotel in London. This paved the way for the 1940 version of The Thief of Baghdad, which became a classic in its own right. It's a tale of how a title with a history found its way into a new epic adventure on the silver screen. The 1940 movie The Thief of Baghdad had a constantly changing script during production, according to Michael Powell. Changes were made throughout the filming process, making it a challenging project. This film is also known to be a favorite of Francis Ford Coppola, who expressed his admiration by singing Sabbath song I Want to Be a Sailor when he first met Michael Powell. Originally, Vivian Lee was cast in the role of the princess, but she had to step down when she won the part of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. The role was then given to June Duprez, a young and up-and-coming starlet. These behind-the-scenes details add an interesting layer to the making of this classic movie. The 1940 movie The Thief of Baghdad is a classic film known for various interesting details. One notable fact is that the character played by June Dupres in the movie is never given a name. Throughout the film, she is only referred to as Princess, My Love, You, Her, in similar terms. This unique aspect adds an air of mystery to her character and highlights her role in the story. Another noteworthy point is that the movie is included on Roger Ebert's Great Movies list, which is a testament to its enduring appeal and quality. Ebert, a renowned film critic, recognized the film's significance and impact on cinema. Intriguingly, the original plan for the movie included shooting several scenes on location in Africa. However, the outbreak of World War II made it impossible to film there. Instead, the production team scouted for an alternative location, and the Arizona desert, particularly in and around the Grand Canyon, was chosen as a suitable replacement. This decision led to breathtaking and visually stunning scenes in the movie. These facts provide a starting point for an in-depth exploration of the Thief of Baghdad, offering insight into the film's unique character dynamics, critical acclaim, and the challenges faced during production. The movie's blend of adventure, romance, and fantasy continues to captivate audiences, making it a timeless classic. 
1940 movie The Thief of Baghdad holds a significant place in the history of cinema. It was the first movie to ever use blue screens. This pioneering use of blue screens allowed for the creation of stunning special effects, enabling the film to transport audiences to a fantastical world of magic and adventure. In addition to this groundbreaking cinematic technique, the film also featured an interesting cameo by its screenwriter, Miles Mallison. He portrayed the toy-obsessed Sultan of Basra in the movie, adding a unique touch to the story. Moreover, during the filming of The Thief of Baghdad, differences in censorship codes between the United Kingdom and the United States became evident. The Hayes office in the U.S. imposed stricter censorship rules, leading to changes in the film scenes. One noticeable difference was the actresses' costumes, which were buttoned up all the way to comply with the Hayes office regulations. This particular detail makes it easier to distinguish between the UK shot and US shot scenes. Overall, The Thief of Baghdad is not only a classic adventure film, but also a milestone in cinema history, thanks to its innovative use of blue screens and the unique presence of its screenwriter in the cast. The contrasting censorship standards between the UK and the US further add to the film's historical significance. The 1940 movie The Thief of Baghdad had its share of interesting behind-the-scenes stories. One notable fact is that the original director, Ludwig Berger, wanted the 80-year-old Austrian operetta composer Oscar Strauss to compose the film's score. However, Mikkel Zarza ultimately won the assignment by playing his catchy melodies repeatedly in an adjoining office. This led to Arza's sweeping and colorful score replacing the Viennese waltzes that Strauss had initially provided. Another intriguing aspect of the film is that most of the 18 riders who cleared the market prior to the princess procession are women. This might be because many men had been drafted into the British armed forces at the time. A significant turn of events during the production was the replacement of director Michael Powell and key crew members when Great Britain officially declared war on Germany. Producer Alexander Korda had pledged to use any available resources to create wartime propaganda, leading Powell and others to be reassigned to direct The Lion Has Wings, a documentary aimed at boosting British morale. The production of The Thief of Baghdad had to shift to the US, acquiring a new director and crew members. These facts offer a glimpse into the challenges and creative decisions that shaped The Thief of Baghdad, a classic film of its time. As we bid adieu to our exploration of the 1940 cinematic gem, The Thief of Baghdad, we're reminded that the magic of film lies not only in its captivating narratives, but in the emotions it stirs within us. This timeless tale of daring adventures and enchanting landscapes has a unique place in the hearts of movie enthusiasts around the world. As you've journeyed through the intricacies of the film, consider the moments that have resonated with you the most. Whether it's the enchanting allure of the princess, the whimsical escapades of our charming thief, or the breathtaking visuals that transport you to a fantastical realm, each of us finds our own special connection with this cinematic masterpiece. Perhaps you've marveled at the splendid special effects and the creativity that went into bringing this world to life. Or maybe you've been entranced by the timeless themes of courage, love, and the indomitable human spirit that run deep within the story. Now is the moment to share your thoughts, memories, and insights. What does The Thief of Baghdad mean to you? Do you have any favorite scenes, lines, or characters that have left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Your unique perspective adds depth and richness to the collective tapestry of appreciation for this classic. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic voyage through time and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your engagement breathes life into the art of storytelling and the enduring legacy of The Thief of Baghdad. Keep the conversation alive, and let's continue to explore the magic of the movies together. Until our next celluloid adventure, take care, and remember the magic of cinema transcends time and space.